And in this video, we're going to be looking at mental mathematics and estimation for whole number operations. What we'll be looking at is some of the mental mathematics for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Also, we'll be looking at computational estimation and estimation with multiplication and division. All right, let's define what mental mathematics is. In this case, it is the process of producing an answer to a computation without using computational aids. Okay, that's basically just using your uh, brain to uh, compute uh, problems without using a calculator or a computer. Computational estimation is the process of forming an approximate answer to a numerical problem. When you estimate something, you're just trying to come up with an approximate answer. All right, let's look at some uh, mental mathematics, which is addition. We'll start with that. And some approaches, like adding from the left. In this case, it's 76 plus 25. Okay, we first add 70 and 20, that will give us 90. And then add 8, 6 plus 5, which will be 11. And then add 90 plus 11, that will give you 101. Here you're adding the 10s and then adding the 1s. And then you're going to add the two sums together. Number two is breaking up and bridging. Okay. Now we add the first number to the tens in the second number, and then add the second number to the units in the second number. Like in this case, 76 plus 25. We're going to add 76 plus this 20. That's the two and it's in the tens place. 76 plus 20, that's 96. 96 plus that 5, which is the ones, that give us 101. So 76 plus 25 would give us 101. And then the next method is trading off. If we have 76 plus 25, okay, we can make a multiple of 10 by adding the 76, adding 4 to the 76, because that would give us a multiple of 10, which is 80. But if we add 4 here, we need to trade off by subtracting 4 from the 25 which would give us 21. 80 plus 21 would give us 101. Okay? So if we add whatever number we add to the first number to make it a multiple of 10, to compensate for that, we have to subtract that same number. And then number four is using compatible numbers here. In this case here, 130 plus 50 plus 70 plus 20 plus 50. If we add 130 and 70, those are compatible numbers that give us 200. 50 and 50 is another set of compatible numbers. That gives us 100. So 200 plus 100 plus the 20 would give us 320. And then the fifth one is making compatible numbers. So here, 76 plus 25. Let's say this, 75 plus 25 because... 76 is one more than 25, so a compatible number for that would be 75, plus that 25 would be 100. And then we got the 1 that we took away, so we add that 1 to it, that would be 101. So that would be your answer to 76 plus 25. For subtracting, for subtracting whole numbers, we do have some mental mathematics techniques. One is breaking up and bridging. Like 74 minus 26, we break up the 26 as 20 and 6. So if we subtract 20 from the 74, that gives us 54. Subtract 6 more from the 54, you get 48. So 76, 74 minus 26 will give you 54, I mean 48. Then trading off, let's make that 26 a multiple of 10 by adding 4. Well, if we add the 4 to the 26, we also have to add the 4 to the 74. So 74 plus 4 would be 78. 26 plus 4 would be 30. Now we can do 78 minus 30, which would give us 48. That's the final answer. The third one is dropping off zeros, like 7400 minus 6600. We can drop these zeros off and just do 74 minus 6. That will give us 68, and then add the two zeros in as our final answer. So 7,400 minus 600 will be 6,800. Okay. 
This example deals with adding up or what they call the cashier's algorithm. Noah owed $11 for his groceries. He used a $50 check to pay the bill. When handling Noah's change, the cashier said 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20, 30, 50. How much change did Noah receive? Okay, so now we're looking at what the cashier said and the amount of money Noah received. Okay, so when she said 11, he received no money. When she said 12, she was he received a dollar. When he said when she said 13, Noah received another one dollar bill. When the cashier said 14, another one dollar bill was given. When 15 was said, another one dollar bill was given. Now when she said 20, a five dollar bill was given. From 15 up to 20, that was five dollars. And then from 20 to 30, that was a ten dollar bill. And from 30 to 50, a twenty dollar bill was given. So if we add these numbers up together, we can say 20 plus 10, that's 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So you can see here that Noah received $39 back from the cashier. Okay, so this means that 50 minus 11 is 39 because if we add 39 to 11, you're going to get $50. Now for multiplication, we do have some mental mathematics techniques. One is front end multiplying. If you have 78 times 4, we first do 70 times 4, which will be 280. And then 8 times 4, which will be 32. Add 28, 280 and 32, you'll get 312. Or we can use compatible numbers. 2 times 8 times 5 times 40 times 5. A pair of compatible numbers will be 2 times 5. Another pair of compatible numbers will be 40 times 5. And then bring down times 8. 2 times 5 we know is 10. 40 times 5, well 4 times 5 is 20. So 40 times 5 will be 200. Then multiply that by 8. Now, 10 times 200 is 2,000. If 2 times 8 is 1,600, then 2,000 times 8 will have to be 16,000. So that product would be 16,000. Also, number three, you can think of money. 84 times 25, you can think of the product as 84 quarters, which will be $21, okay? Because four quarters make up a dollar, so if you divide 84 by four, you're gonna get 21. So 84 times 25 will be 21. And for division, we do have some mental mathematics techniques for that. One of them is breaking up the dividend, like 5,648 divided by 8. We can break the, divi the dividend into two parts. So here the 5, 6 is on the left side and the 48 is on the right side. Okay, so here we can divide both parts by 8. So 5, 6, and we break it up as 48, will be 5,600 plus 48. Divide 5,600 by 8, you'll get 700. Divide 48 by 8, you'll get 6. 700 plus 6 will be 706. So that's the answer to 5,648 divided by 8, 706. The second one is using compatible numbers, like 105 divided by 3. A couple of compatible numbers here. We can look for numbers that are divisible by 3 and whose sum is 105, like 90 plus 15. 90 is divisible by 3. 15 is divisible by 3. 90 plus 15 does give you 105, so we can use those compatible numbers to do 90 divided by 3 and 15 divided by 3. Well, 90 divided by 3 is 30. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 30 plus 5 is 35. So 105 divided by 3 will be 35. And let's say we have this 232 divided by 8. We want to find a pair of numbers that are divisible by 8 
And this time, let's say whose difference is 232. Well, 240 is divisible by 8, so let's use that. But to get the 232 back, we're going to have to subtract 8. So it'll be 240 minus 8. So we can do 240 divided by 8 and then 8 divided by 8 and subtract. 240 divided by 8 will be 30. 8 divided by 8 will be 1. So 30 minus 1 will be 29. So in this case here, 232 divided by 8 will give us 29 as the final answer. All right, let's look at computational estimation and some techniques that goes that goes along with it. Like front end estimation with adjustment. We got 474 plus 522 plus 231. And you want to add front end digits. In this case here, the 4, the 5, and the 2. We're going to add those first. That will give us 11. So that place value will be 1100. Now adjust the 22 and 31 which will be 50, and 74 as approximately 70. So that would be 50 plus 70, which would give us 120. Because you got 22 and 31. If you add those two, that's 51, but that's close to 50. And then we're going to estimate 74 to 70. And let's add those. 50 plus 70, that's 120. So the adjusted estimate would be 1,100 plus 120, or 1,220. So the sum of these three numbers would be approximately 1,220. The second one is grouping to nice numbers, like 23 plus 39 plus 32 plus 64 plus 49. Look at 23, 32, and 49. The sum of those three numbers is about 100. And then 39 and 64, that's close to 100, so we can say that's about 100. So 100 plus that 100 would give us 200. So the sum of those five numbers would be approximately 200. Okay. So here, this is just an example how you can estimate by grouping nice to nice numbers. And then clustering is another method of computational estimation. And that's used when a group of numbers cluster around a common value, like 4,724 plus 5,262 plus 5,206 plus 4,992 plus 5,331. We estimate the average, which is about 5,000, because they cluster around, let's say, 5,000. And there are five of these numbers we're adding together, so 5 times 5,000 will be approximately 25,000. That would be the, the estimated value or the estimated sum of these numbers. And then finally, num well, number four is rounding. Let's say 7,262 minus 3,806. And we're going to round to the nearest thousand on each one of those. If you recall, the thousands place is a seven. Next to it is a two. That two is less than five, so we leave it as 7,000 in this case and just change the other numbers to zeros. In this case here, the 3,806, the 3 is in the thousands place. Next to it is the 8. 8 is bigger than 5, so we increase the 3 to a 4. And the other numbers behind it will change to zero. So 7,000 minus 4,000 will be 3,000. And we use the range like in this case here, 7262 plus 3806. In this case here, the low estimate of 7262 would be 7,000. The high estimate would be 8,000. So, using the thousands place, 7262 would be between 7,000 and 8,000. But 3806, the low estimate, using the thousands place, would be, th would be 3,000. Using the high end will be four thousand. That means that means that thirty eight oh six is between three thousand and four thousand. Then we add the low estimates together of both numbers and the high estimates of both numbers. Seven thousand and three thousand is ten thousand. Eight thousand plus four thousand is twelve thousand. So the sum of seven thousand two sixty two and three thousand eight hundred six will be between ten thousand and 12,000.
Okay, that's how we use the range method to estimate the sum of two numbers. And then for multiplication and division, we can use the front end estimation like for 474 times 9. We start by multiplying at the front, which is 400 times 9, or 3600. Multiply the next digit, 70 times 9, that's 630. So 3600 plus 630 will be 4230. That will be the estimated product of 474 times 9. And number two, compatible numbers. If you divide 3,752 times 6, we use some number that's a multiple of 6, which is 3,600. So 3,600 divided by 6 will be 600. So the quotient of 3,752 and 6 will be approximately 600. Okay, so that will conclude this particular uh, video on the mental mathematics and the estimation for whole number operations.